Welcome to the 2011 SEMA show right here in Las Vegas. I'm Jennifer Nicole. And I'm Jonathan Sieber. So tell me, Jonathan, what can we look forward to this week? We're going to see drift demonstrations with Tanner Faust and Ken Block. So cool. We've got Ultimate Fighters. We've got Josh Burnett with his Shelby Mustang. We've got uh, our very own drift driver in Chris Forsberg. Great. He just actually got third this season. And we've got a number of different vehicles that have won awards. We've got a, you know, a D3 Cadillac, which is a custom uh, uh, coupe CTSV that was done. We've got Mark Arsenal and his RWB oh, Porsche, that's really which is exciting. a phenomenal vehicle really that cool. everyone's excited to see so far. So we've got everything from Ford Focuses to Ferraris. We've got a lot of videos to give you, a lot of interviews, a lot of cars. I hope you stay with us and we'll see you soon. This year, you probably had one of your worst accidents in your rally history at Rally of Portugal. The accident that you speak of, of uh, was actually yeah, probably the biggest accident of my career. Um, it was in uh, Portugal and it was in actually the shakedown the day before the race started. And uh, I'd been through that stage several times and for whatever reason I, I just got slightly wide on a right turn. and uh, The exit of the corner just narrowed up some and I was slightly too wide and I because of the, because the outside of the corner had a lot of marbles from everyone going through the stage, I just couldn't get the car to pull back to the inside of the corner, and we hit like a little rock on the outside of the corner, at, right at the exit, and it just caught the car and flung it. And so I think we rolled about three and a half times, and one of the last impacts where we really hit the ground hard, I think, was four and a half Gs. So the the, the seats that we have in the WRC cars are, are probably the most sturdy seats like ever made for cars like this i mean it's very very thick carbon fiber they're just a, a work of art and i feel like rolling three and a half times and four and a half g hit you know to be able to be snowboarding uh a week wow. later i was i was wow. very happy thank you ricardo what about number five are we in talks ken <laughs> well, what I'm can already... you say about it <laughs> well, i'm funny... sure you've been approached i'm sure people want to work with you What's your status? Well, the funny thing is I have concepts all the way through seven or eight yes. uh, that I want to do, but it's all about time and money and uh, and, and actually figuring them out. I, I have a, a, a concept that I want to do for next year and it's just a matter of figuring out the timing and the money and all that sort of thing. These things aren't cheap. I'm very lucky that uh, they've been successful, so DC continues to fund them. Um, so. Uh, working on it, we'll we'll see. Uh, as long as people keep watching them, though, it makes it easy for me to go get the budget to go out and do more. So, thanks to all the fans. Tell me about. Uh, understand you did bull run. I did do bull run. And uh, I believe I sat in some really comfy Recaro seats in that car as well. Uh, I had never driven anything European either. So this VF Engineering wide body uh, M3, supercharged, 620 horse. It was a blast, man. The car it had tons of grip, lots of power. And uh, I got to scare the cameraman at 160 mile an hour plus going into New Orleans. Uh, it was a great experience of meeting all these other drivers and auto enthusiasts and getting to hang out with them at night and, and also taking my buddy uh, Stan uh, from Toyo Tires along for the ride. So for uh, finding a seat for me is easy. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit larger It was than difficult. I am. So tell me how that process went. Well, I was up taking some SCCA licensing courses at Proformance uh, Racing School in Seattle and there they deal with Recaros. And they had a couple of seats there all set up. And so I just did the old sit test on them. And man, the, it, it was no, no question about it. The Sports for CSs, that was it. That was the seat that I needed. So uh, outside the car, what's coming up for you? Well, uh, I have the, the finals of the Heavyweight Grand Prix for Strike Force. Uh, I have a pro wrestling match in Japan for the Inoki Genom Federation. I'm staying busy, man. And I'm going to the Optima Challenge Saturday to see uh, see what my competition might be because I want to I want to put this car in it next year I want to get my seat time up I want to take a car that is literally it, I mean it, it's not going to be super fabbed up or anything no one-off anything it's just going to be whatever you could buy off the shelf make any adjustments that you need to and put it in the car and, and let's see it perform
Uh, how'd you feel about 2011 overall? Absolutely fantastic. Um, going into Long Beach, you know, with a new chassis, clean slate, but you know, driving to a fourth place finish, um, just basically right out of the box, kind of set the pace for the year. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm and um, uh, reward, you know, after the build, knowing that we had a competitive car, um, and just followed by. Um, you know, several top five finishes, never outside the top ten, two podiums, um, and finishing third overall in the championship, and even finding out uh, after it was all said and done that we had a shot until the very uh, semifinal rounds in Irwindale to even win the championship. So just being able to have that kind of a you know close range uh, fight for the title um, with a brand new chassis, it was. It was great, and you know, can't thank everyone that helped us, you know, get that thing together enough for, uh, you know, providing us a car that, you know, can go out and win right out, right out of the box. You know, on the drift side, what does seats mean to you? I mean, outside of like, you know, getting a differential and make your rear wheels lock up and a suspension to make your car a little, you know, more set, um, a seat is absolutely um, within the first three parts I tell anyone to get for their car because. When you're trying to learn how to drift or even, you know, being a professional drifter, you're throwing that thing side to side. I mean, it's not like racing where you're taking a little G's and you set yourself up. Um, as that car is whipping back and forth, you're getting thrown around, you're holding on to the wheel, you know, to try and keep yourself centered. Your feet are slipping off the pedals. You need to be in control and locked into that car to be able to use your hands and feet to operate the car. I do sit in Recaro seats a lot, and you have supplied me with a lot of race seats, which have been awesome, and I've crashed in them, and they've, they've saved me a lot of pain. Okay, let's clarify, we didn't cause the crash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I blame anybody I can, but I, I won't, I'm not going to blame you guys. See, in you're fact, standing, you're walking, and you can still sit. That's so right. We've done our job. You're actually right, because I've had friends who've had, had a friend who flipped over end over end and basically can't sit down anymore, and I flipped end over end and things. And, and, and we've seen you flip end <laughs> over end. And, all right. all right, this was supposed to be really positive, man. <laughs> we're, we're all going to be happy here. We weren't going to talk about my bad crashes. How do we get onto this? All right, anyway, so you guys, have been, you had a chance to look around the show. Jonathan, what are you, what are you thinking about what's here? Uh, I mean, the, the show overall is very positive. Traffic's up, um, which is good. That means there's a lot of people. A lot of nice displays and uh, a lot of Recaro. That Recaro is definitely back in the forefront of uh, you know, technology and what everyone's looking for, you know, as far as seating's concerned. I think that he just said that he's happy you guys sponsor me, right? Yeah. Okay. We're here at the Ford booth with John Peng Linen. John, how's SEMA going so far? SEMA's going great. It's the last day. Um, earlier this week, we won a, a design award from Ford, so we're really proud about that. Congratulations you know. on that. Thank you. You know, we couldn't have done it without, you know, the help of our sponsors, such as Recaro. We're featuring Sportster CS seats in there that we have rewrapped to match our theme um, of the vehicle. Overall, tell me what you've done. I see a great body kit. What else have you done on the car? Yeah, it's a custom designed body kit that um, I designed with John Sabal, who's an automotive illustrator. Um, custom British Racing Green paint from BASF. We also have on display a custom leader bike. Um, it's the Michael Chacon Signature Edition, so it's making its debut here uh, with KVA stainless steel frame, um, a custom seat that matches the interior again, so everything ties back with each other. And so I, I need to know, I, I've seen a lot of your car stuff here, where do you get the inspiration from? You know, each car, it, it's kind of like I, I get inspiration from different things, you know, whether it's something active that I'm doing or something that I just see and I'm like, well, I want to try that or do something different like the Scion last year was a motorsports theme. I've never done that before. This car is more of a street car with an active lifestyle feel. So everything kind of ties back into one another. It's just kind of what mood I feel like, I guess. Well, I must say from the Raptivo uh, cover here to the seats, to the wheels, to the body kit, I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal job.